maintenance. So I'm doing a little bit of vehicle maintenance. I'm actually changing my oil, but I have a slow leak in this tire and I finally found the nail. Yay. So I want to show you guys how to use these rubber pl uh, plugs with rubber cement and a rasp to fix that problem. That way, if you uh, need to fix this yourself because either you don't want to pay for it or you're not in a place where you can get somebody to do it, I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's easy. Okay, so first things first, you need to find the leak. And what you're looking for is a nail like this. So, um, and then I'm going to put the camera here and I'm going to show you how I do this. So first things first, I want to make sure that my tire is nice and aired up. here all right so it's as simple as it looks so we're gonna put some rubber cement on here twist this back and forth and it'll work its way into the tire and what we're doing here is roughing up this so that the glue will bond and then we're also making sure the hole is large enough and so here's what was in the tire it's a good old nail let me go get rid of it I'll be right back okay so next we're gonna lubricate this and this is actually what the rubber cements for you don't need this it just makes it a whole lot easier to push this in so we're going to pull that out. And then you push, and then you pull it out. And you're done. It's that simple. Don't twist the insertion tool because you'll screw that up. And when you pull it back out, it's got a cutting piece right there. The rubber cement is not included with these kits. It's honestly not necessary, but what it does is it lubricates the rubber so that you can insert the patch. All right. Now, if you have the way, you should trim these. But if you don't, um, they'll get trimmed when you start driving. So I'm going to go get a pair of cutters. All right. So you just need any can of pliers or cutters. Uh, And again, this is uh, this is just optional, so it doesn't form a blob there. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to air the tire back up. I only lost a little bit of pressure there. All right, that should be good. 